blue bit of a layout update here um, so first thing is that I reduce the number of tracks in this area originally it was three lines running around um, and over here there was a sort of an S bend with a straight between it this bit here is just test track the three tracks still remain at the back and over in the corner here um, mainly because I just haven't got around to moving them yet um, the new plan is that this will probably be two tracks around here uh, using the outer two and the innermost track will be taken up um, over here there used to be an S bend um, that wasn't the uh, completed design that was going to be just there as a, as a test while it's all on a single level this had to be taken out um, because uh, of my um, American style engines they have their uh, KV couplers attached to the chassis and not the bogies or the, the trucks um, for the freight cars this meant that when you go around a corner uh, or an S-Bend um, normal corners are fine uh, if you go around an S-Bend regardless of how tight the corner is it will derail so I'm now removing the S-Bends and working on different different track plan with straighter track along here and the other side the other point was is that um, three tracks was a bit excessive and also it was a bit boring having all all the, uh, the lines going the same route in the far corner uh, far back of the, the scene there you can see a set of set track points I think that's the uh, mixture of Hornby and Pico or possibly all Hornby it doesn't, doesn't really matter it's the, the angle that's the problem here um, these are too sharp to be used like that even the um, older Lima Super Sprinter would derail because the intercar uh, corridor pieces would actually touch and push the other, the other car off so those cars have to be used and they'll be taken out. Instead, I have decided to go with these. These are Pico Electrofog, uh, large uh, points. These are much smoother uh, line and curve going through here. As you can see, they're, they're slightly bent at the moment because the track's been nudged around a bit. But uh, when they're lined up properly, they are very straight. These are not actually wired up at the moment. They're simply connected uh, together um, with insulating fish plates. I don't know if you can still see that. The track on the frog closest to the bottom of the picture there is actually insulated as well. But that's using a uh, Hornby one that doesn't show up as much as the, the clear plastic Pico one. Um, some other uh, news. Um, this is my latest acquisition. It's a Southern Pacific, obviously, um, and it's a SD40 made by Apple. does have working lights at the front at the top two headlights and then the rear so you go in the other direction there's also two headlights these are direction controlled both in DC and DCC um, also fairly new uh, acquisition is this coach here this is a, a Wolfers mainline, also 7 Pacific. I have two of these. 
One of them is the dining car, the other is the, um, the lounge car, I believe. Great detail on these. They're only twenty four ninety nine. This was uh, purchased from eBay um, and is uh, DCC fitted. I don't believe it's a factory um, uh, chip inside it. I think it's just a normal one that's been added. Not not entirely certain. Um, but this particular engine was quite interesting because um, when running in DCC mode, it's incredibly slow, even on the highest uh, speed step. So my lens, when I switch it to uh, speed step 28 out of 28, it still, still goes painfully slow to the point that it looks like a fully loaded freight train, but in DC mode it actually goes quite fast. Not sure what the reason for that is. Oh, now I'll just show you two clips of the train running firstly in DCC mode and then second in DC mode to see the difference in the speed. As far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong with the DCC setup on the layout itself. I've tried removing some of the um, power connectors just to make sure there's nothing, nothing wrong there. So if anyone knows what the cause of that is, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'm going to try a different decoder in it, see if that makes a difference. When I move around over here, you'll see the, the bridge have been moved from the back and piled up over here. The reason is again the locomotive I just showed you. Um, that's because if we zoom in on here, the distance between the walkways is actually too small for the uh, snowplow in the front. I want to focus there. Um, so the, I had to move the bridge off the off the line for a moment. This bridge can be flipped over the other way, so that the the girder part is below the track level. But personally, I prefer it in that style. So what I may do is simply use the bridge in a different a different loop or something later. Moving around this corner, you'll see a very old engine shed in uh, not exactly great condition. This was left over from a very, very old layout, I think at least 10 years ago. Um, and I've just brought it out here to show a position of where it might go. I'm thinking of putting it somewhere over here in the corner facing forwards or perhaps replacement um, with the line coming forward roughly where that pile of track is along here and then 
possibly having some sort of yard over here and then it will connect up to the, the loop. When the loop gets around to that part it will be below, um, below the engine shed so the engine shed will actually be raised up above it. Moving back around to this side I have uh, on order a sawmill kit that I'm going to put somewhere around here, possibly where where those uh, track boxes are, and then approximately between the um, right hand side of that yellow bag and the wooden scenics boxes will be uh, a tunnel section moving back to roughly where those where those corners start. And what that will do is allow the hill in the centre area here, about there, to move across the line and look like it would extend beyond it. The idea of this is that there could be um, more forest or something in that direction that would supply enough continuous um, trees and lumber for the sawmill. It will then have a line coming through, possibly like that, or from a different different branch line, um, which would then either connect over here, or it would be a loop from the inner track over there, which of course wouldn't be going to that corner, but it would be starting somewhere about, probably about there where the join in the fence track is. This uh, straight section here was originally going to be a station. I'm now not certain if it still will be. That might be moved somewhere else, mainly because the front tracks here are now curved to the point where it's going to be either in the way or just not look particularly uh, realistic having a station with a load of tracks going past, particularly as the um, the entrance to the station for the public would be on was going to be on this side, roughly where those tracks are now. Um, one of the other ideas I have, please excuse the random tissue here. This is uh, cleaning up the oil from the uh, previous engine. Um, so one of the the ideas I have is to uh, remove this curve here and basically bridge the gap across here onto that one. That will allow the track to go straight ahead and join up with here again like this. That would mean that this inner track here is no longer required. None of the curves will be needed. All of this space here will be freed up. Quite a large amount there. Um, this area here could then be industry and again these corners here could go. You'll see here I now have um, some risers and these are incline sets. These are the 4% inclines and the risers are the 4 inch versions. These will be used for creating and maintaining the, um, the upper levels but they haven't actually started putting these out yet. I've also required some uh, concrete flexi track. That was mainly just a, a bit of comparison to the existing uh, wood style track. I may use that in places or I, I may just keep it as is. It depends. I'm not short of track by any means. As if we go over here, you'll see there's still quite a large box. Yeah, and only half of that box is actually being used and there's still quite a lot of it lying around on the layout. Okay, uh, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment or subscribe if you find it interesting.